Hello everyone. This video will go through the ports that SupportWorks uses. Um, one of the main services that uh, SupportWorks needs is the SWHTTP server service. Uh, you can already see here that it's running at the moment. That's how come I was able to log into the client. If that service was not running, I wouldn't be able to log into the client. Now, the interesting thing is, which ports does that service use? You can check uh, which port you're using in one of two ways. The first way is to go to Tools, uh, Options and Settings, and it'll be listed there. The HTTP port we're currently using is port 80. The second way is to open a web browser and just look there. If it says localhost, uh, it assumes that the default it will be port 80. All these are configured in the HTTP conf file, which is located in the uh, Program Files Hornbill Core Services SWHTTP Server Service conf directory. My current uh, HTTP conf file looks like this. It's got a line which says listen 0 .0 .0 .0 .0, uh, full colon port 80. Apart from port 80, the HTTP server service uses the port 443 for secure traffic. Uh, if you would like to get rid of port 80 uh, search or your traffic is routed using the secure route, you'd have to just comment out listen 80 and just leave port 443. But right now, I don't need to uh, comment out port uh, 80. All, I, uh, all I'll do is I'll leave both of them running. That's port 80 and port 443. Alternatively, apart from port 80, I can also use port 8080. If, say, for example, another process was running on port 80 and my HTTP server service can't start, I can alternatively come here and just put 8080 and restart the HTTP server service. I'd also have to go into the uh, SW server service uh, file, which is located in the which is located in the uh, C program files Hornbill support work server conf directory. Uh, it's the SW server service file. I'd always advise that you take a backup before you make any changes. When you come to this file, there's a line which says uh, there's a part which talks about communications. There's a line which says HTTP server service port value 80. You can change that to 8080 and save that file and then restart the SW server service to, for this change to take effect and then you restart the SW HTTP server service for this change to take effect. So once the HTTP server service has been restarted and the SW server service has been restarted, I'll be able to log into the application Okay, so once I'm in the application, I can go back to Tools, Options and Settings and it will show the HTTP port being used is port 8080. My support works today page displays correctly, which means my uh, the change in the HTTP port that I'm using has been successful. Another way to also check is to go to a web browser and instead of just typing localhost, if I put the port number with a full colon, 8080, there, I'm able to display this page, which uh, tells me about the different the version of the support work server and the home build core services. So, which means using port 8080 has been successful. The other things that you need to consider, such as the uh, web client and the self service, if you want to use any other port apart from the default ports. For example, if you're changing the self service, um, you'd come to this file, which is located in the program files home build support work server html underscore self service self service directory and it's called the underscore ssconfig file.php you need to add full colon port 8080 so that your self service page displays there's i've got um sw self service and my self service is able to display if you don't uh change that file you won't get uh the self service to display at all same goes with the web client there's a detailed set of instructions that we can send you on how to change how to use support how to use different ports when using support works Apart from uh, port 80 or port 8080 and port 443 support works uses other ports for its communications for example, if you go to the communications port of the uh, tab, sorry, of the support work server configuration, you'll be able to see that the server port is 5001. That's the main uh, port that the SW server service uses. If that port is not free, support works would not be able the support work service would not be able to start at all. Other ports that are necessary are port 4, 5006, which the SW messenger service uses. 
port 25, which SMTP uses, port 110. To see the mail ports, you come to System Mailboxes tab, Help Desk, and you can see SMTP uses port 25. IMAP 4 uses port 104, 143, whereas IMAP 4S uses port 993, and S. Um, and POP3 uses port uh, 110, whereas um, POP3S will use port 995. So there's a long list of, doc there's a document that we can send you with all the different ports that SupportWorks uses, but this will just give you uh, an idea of the ports that need to be free for SupportWorks to run successfully. For a detailed list of all the ports that SupportWorks needs to be able to run, Please contact the support uh, please contact the support desk on support at hornbill.com. Thank you. <music>